Today we are continuing our talk. We will discuss what is treatment today. We are going to learn what is treatment and you must understand this based on subtle and gross body concepts. Your mental body. A person has different bodies and there are different treatments. The first thing you must know in our body there is a mental structure and it controls all functions in our body. And this structure can be compared to shells of a Russian doll. This structure, it has seven big shells and each one is divided into two petals, inner petal and outer petal. These shells are meant to give energy to your organs. It's like a highway. Energy flows there. If the road is blocked, then the car does not get to its destination and some function will not be performed. Food does not get there, workers do not get there, and so the city does not work. Roads are needed to bring life and activity into the city. Now listen to me attentively, this is very important. All chronic diseases that are lasting indicate that in your subtle body, in these shells, in these cocoons, there is blockade somewhere. The road is blocked. There is some blockade and the energy cannot flow, but this channel is not completely blocked because that would mean death. The energy flows badly and it leads to chronic diseases. Any chronic disease you can name, any at all, it means that you had predisposition for this problem in this channel since birth. There is no chronic disease that was not there since birth. And out of seven shells, three are prone to chronic diseases. But because there are two petals, outer and inner, in total there are four damaged petals, but three shells. One shell has two petals with diseases at once. And everybody's body is like this. For example, I have two leaves with chronic diseases on my shell of psychological functions. That means that I get really tired because of mental activity. You see, I now work a lot mentally and that is the result of my health improvement. Every day I do yoga, I bathe in the sea, but the heaviest karma I have is in my shell of psychical functions. Each person has disorders like this. In general, the first petal, the outer, is connected to skin and mucus. The second shell is connected to circulation, outer and inner. The third is muscles. The fourth is tissues. On the outside it is fat tissue and on the inside it is viscera tissues. The fifth shell is bone structure, legs and arms on the outside and on the inside spine and head and joints. The sixth shell is connected to nervous system. Inner part is your spine and your brain, and on the outside 
It is innervation of all limbs and skin and everything. The seventh shell is hormonal functions, inner and outer. Our activity on the outside is connected to what is going on in our body in terms of hormonal functions. The deepest petal is our hormonal functions. The deeper the petal is, the shell, the more difficult it is to treat it. It is hard to deliver energy there. The easiest thing is to treat your skin. You apply something and it is treated. It is more difficult with blood. And so our outer petals, like skin and blood, they suffer more. They get ill more easily than some deep diseases. Therefore, children, they suffer because of skin and intestines, and it also can be easily treated. But if since birth some deep functions are in disorder, it can cause serious problems like dementia. Now, how do you treat these highways, these subtle channels? There only are a few methods to rejuvenate your body. Treatment of chronic diseases is basically rejuvenation. The first and easiest method is fasting. It makes you younger. It cleans your highways. The next one is static exercises. And how do you get rejuvenated? For example, I am seated and I bend forward. I can only bend when I am relaxed. The more relaxed I am, the farther I reach. I do not force it. I get used to this bending position and I go farther. It takes me about 15 minutes to completely bend forward. But first I am just seated, upright. I, it is even difficult for me to sit like that because my two channels are in disorder. One is connected to spine and another one is about bone structure. So my spine is really firm. It is stone-like, unbendable. I'm not a sick person, but just my channels do not work well. It takes me 15 minutes to bend forward, but I do it completely. I can fold myself twice. It takes me 15 minutes to relax completely. You see that? And then I bend backwards. I do a bridge. First I cannot do it. But then, gradually, I can make it in 15 minutes also. So it takes me an hour and a half to make this bending forward and backward exercises. And I become strong and healthy. This is Hatha Yoga. It clears your channels and gives you strength. You see that? This is the first rejuvenating method. The second one, after fasting. The third one is pranayama. It is breathing and holding your breath. You must be taught to do it correctly. It is meant for people who are strong mentally, who can hold their breath by will. It is very difficult to perform, and it may give you problems if you do it wrong. You must study it very well first. The next method of cleansing your body that unblocks your channels is panchakarma. It is a medical method, you cannot do it yourself. It is based on oiling, a lot of oil is given to the person and it burns the blocks in the channels. But first it happens on the outside, first in your gross body and then in your subtle body. And also there are 
enemas, emetics, luxatives, your nose is being cleansed, your whole body is cleaned, and the diet is really light. The whole course lasts about 21 days, you lose a lot of weight, you get weak, it takes about two weeks to restore yourself before you can work again. It is hard to work, you just walk and restore yourself. It is very exhausting, but really effective. The next method that we use is bark treatment. Your channels can be cleared with bark. It goes from the inside out. If a person wears bark pack we selected for him, it is like a backpack. And Two times a day you wear it for about 20-30 minutes, but the influence is so strong that if you do it for too long you get overloaded. This is a subtle method that takes careful studying. We oil a person so that his body did not get overloaded. We also have a method of oiling in the morning and evening. Oil gives you energy and bark takes this energy and burns blocks in your channels. This treatment takes up to a year and a half. You carry this bark pack every day and the most important thing is not to worry too much. If you do, it seems as if your disease is back. Then you make a one-month break and it is all fine. Those deep blockades in channels are cleared by bark, despite any overloads. You accumulate these deep blocks your whole life. They must be cleared. Bark selection is performed in our health center, but we also learn to select bark remotely. If your chronic diseases are not so bad and we can treat you remotely, we send you bark packs and it is cheaper to be treated remotely. I do not know exact figures, but you can find it all on our website. The package deal also includes herbal mix, and we also select herbs for your blocked channels. We know about 100 of herbs and we make an individual recipe. We give you this recipe and you can make your own herbal mix later. We send you as much herb as you need for the whole course of treatment. In addition, herbs help you to get clean. And also remotely you receive spices mix. Spices, they fill your channels. When you only clean your channels, they are exhausted and they must be filled with fire energy. And for that there is oil that affects exactly these channels and also there are spices that you take before meal with melted butter. So this is comprehensive treatment meant to cleanse your body. I am giving you cleansing methods. Cleansing is also possible with raw vegetables. If a person is raw eater, he neither eats dairy or meat or some proteins, he only eats raw vegetables, then in about four or five months his subtle channels are cleared, but you must associate on the internet with those who have experience in raw eating. If there are some problems with your body, you must know how to 
solve them. It is best to raw eat and do yoga. Raw eating makes your psyche tense. If you do it for long, your mind is like iron. You become rude and angry with everyone. It is really difficult. And to release this tension, you must do static exercises. Raw eating plus hatha yoga gives very powerful effect. With only 1% of people can raw eat his whole life. All the others, about 10% of people can do it for a year or two. And all the others, two or three months tops. There are people who can only make it for two weeks. It is very difficult for them. And some people cannot make it for a day. They will go crazy. And you must not do it if it does not suit you. And now, listen attentively, please what we do with these neck beads. There are cylinders, the outer and inner cylinders in our psyche body. The planets in our solar system are connected to our body. They give subtle energy for life. Each planet has an energy of its own, but there are two planets for each person. One is gross planet and the second is on the subtle plane. Out of nine planets, two are on the subtle plane. I'm going to name all nine planets to you in the order that they affect us, our body. The first is the Sun, then the Moon, third comes Mars, fourth Mercury, the fifth is Jupiter, the sixth is Venus, the seventh Saturn and the two subtle planets are Rahu number eight. It is a subtle planet. Rahu and Ketu. We always use gems for one of two planets in neck beads for every person. Rahu is affected by gamet or hesanit, it is a reddish stone, and ketu is affected through cat's eye, it is a greenish stone. You all have it in your neck beads, one out of two. When the energy enters your inner cylinder, it regulates your health, it gives you mental strength, it improves your intelligence and, and mental abilities, it makes your character better, you can easier overcome stressful situations, that gives you inner power to live. Each person has a planet, one out of seven gross planets that is connected to inner cylinder and one is connected to outer cylinder. We make neck beads that regulate your inner cylinder function. It regulates your psyche and viscera. These are deeper functions. And the gem for the other planet gives you protection from negative energy and evil. It is also connected to your inner cylinder. One gem protects you and the other restores you. When a person comes to me, I test him, I search for the planet that affects inner cylinder and gives strength. One out of seven planets Maybe it. Then I look which one out of two subtle planets is connected to the person, and then there is a very important thing. I defined the number that is responsible for entering the inner cylinder. If we make this number of 
gems, the energy goes inside. That is a very mystical process. And there are four options, two, four, six, or eight. Four options of personal number. Each one of you who has neck beads, there is a number on your personal patient's card. How do you use this number? If you have cold and your number is 2, that means that you should eat two white pepper peas several times a day. If you make bracelets and anklets with white pepper, if you put two pieces, it will affect you weakly, 12 pieces will affect you well, 22 pieces will affect you really powerfully. If you make 32 pieces, that is in the case when your infection is at its highest, the virus is really bad, you have high fever, you are bedridden, 42 pieces, cannot be put without a doctor, it can overload you badly. When you use these numbers, all the energy goes into your inner cylinder, very deep. If you buy some talisman and you put it on your wrist and your personal number is 4 and there are 4 gems on your bracelet, it will affect you in the best way. When we make neck beads, there are three options of numbers. Your personal number is two, for example. Remember, any person can also use number one. One means God. It is suitable for anyone. And number 12 may suit the same person. 1, 2 or 12 are the options, or 1, 4, 14. For example, one gem is 1 and another 14. We put 1, 14, 1, 14 in your neck beads. But the most amazing thing is that when we make neck beads and two gems are connected, one after another it forms a section. Remember that the greatest effect is that we make exact number of sections. If your number is 2, there can be 12 sections, 22 or 32 or 20 and 30. It may also end with 0. My number is 4 and I have 40 sections. It could have also been 44. It is individual. The length of your neck beads is also important. If it is all selected well, you have lightness, good focus, protection from overloads. And the person cannot feel it at once, but in 2 or 3 days is for sure the person becomes calmer it is easier to leave to listen to the lectures do you agree with me raise your hands those who notice this effect and who notice nothing how long have you been wearing it five days ago it gives effect. You're just the kind of person who doesn't notice at once. But when you fly home, you will see how easier it was for you to take the trip. Some people are very strong energetically. When the Saturn is strong, he can hardly notice effects of gems. Do you understand the method? Now, there are people whose Saturn is so weak that it is hard to give them this formula with figures. 
Then we only put one gem. This is mono bead. It affects the inner cylinder and helps to be healthy. There are no numbers, but some people cannot bear any beads on their neck. Then we give them gems for their fingers. But gems on fingers affect differently. They affect some exact mental function. The index finger is connected to the following psychic structures, will, concentration, all viscera in the middle nine, throat, nose, genitalia, stomach. It gives ability to overcome difficulties and defeat your fate. I'm going to be short. Your middle finger is the basis of your body. It is connected to spine, head. We heal headaches with the middle, middle finger. It is connected to joints and bones. It gives stability, good ability to work, concentration, overcoming difficulties as continuous labor, it gives you stability in life and overcoming stress, it's anti-stress. The ring finger is connected to viscera, metabolism, your fat, responsibility, willpower, ability to hold the audience to control your employees. This is parent's finger. It gives you ability to obey yourself. It regulates your temperature, blood pressure, your circulation and blood. It is also responsible for status in society, position in life. The little finger is speech, skin, hormonal functions. We often treat sterility with gems put on the middle finger. It regulates harmony with the world, your mood. You see, each finger has function of its own. We pick finger first, we look where karma is accumulated, and we also question you what diseases you have, and experimentally plus questionnaire, we see where there is most karma, and we usually put gems on two fingers, sometimes one or three fingers. We do not pick gems, only one or two gems fit for some finger. And we have about 50 options of the gems, and we just pick one gem that suits exact person. If he loses it, we will find another gem, but it will not work as well before we get new supplies of gems. No one else in the world works like this. The research is very deep of gem treatment. We use about 60-70 types of gemstones. We have the biggest collection of gems in Russia. No one has this much gems that were not treated with heat or oiled. These are pure real stones and they have curing power. A man in India finds new gems for me yearly. We make our abilities and possibilities wider. Our gems are tested at custom, so it takes quite long, because every time they do not know what kind of gem that is and they cannot pass customs quickly. This is what you get during the festival. These gems work your whole life, except pearls. These big pearls we give you work for about five years. It is best to get a new one afterwards. 
This is artificially grown pearls, and it is frozen artificially. It takes a few years to freeze pearls, and Chinese cannot wait that long. They freeze it chemically quicker and sell on, and because of this kind of freezing, it does not work that long. We use 10 carat gems, 8 to 12 carats, because smaller stones do not affect your psyche. They are not powerful enough to overpower your psyche. Only 10 carat gems are stronger than you are. Starting from 3 carat size, they can give you harmony, but 10 carats on, yeah. they are really powerful. There are no river pearls, that just means that they are not so round. These are all just artificially grown pearls in China. There are big plantations there. It is the same pearls, but just some grow big and some small. Please pass the microphone. Gems affect you on fingers and also just at your home. I visited one billionaire in Moscow and he had a lot of amethyst cruises. He was so skeptical. He looked at me and smiled. So does it all affect me? I have so many gems at my home. And I told him I would show him. We took tenometer to measure blood pressure. I put those druzes behind him that increased his blood pressure. In five minutes we measured his blood pressure and it went up by 40 or 50. We put other druzes and his blood pressure dropped by 20-30 points. He said, that must be hypnosis. I said, try it again later when I'm not present and you will see against someone for anti-hypnosis. No matter how skeptical you are, if there is force and knowledge, always win over skepticism. People who believed in nothing came to us. A person puts neck beads on. If everything is right, his head becomes clear. He has more strength, his mood is better, higher concentration, better memory. He overcomes stress, no more headaches, all illnesses connected to head, throat, nose, immunity, thinking, even stutter, we are working with it now. We'll see to the results. All these things are softened. It becomes better. It does not mean that we can heal everything with gems. Gems only heal channels with certain kind of blockade. Gems affect fire energy. They do not clear your channels. We had this case. A woman came with high blood pressure. We put gems. Her blood pressure went down to a certain point. But when we made gems stronger, the blood pressure went down again, but the lower indicator was so low that, that she was dizzy. That means that her subtle channels were blocked and she also had arthrosclerosis in her head. So what happened? Gems stimulate certain channels, but because there is blockage, it causes even worse function. There is a traffic jam and the more cars means the worse traffic jam. And so gems, they can affect a respectively healthy body. First we cleanse the body with bark and then we put gems. Gems affect for life. It is the source of life for the lifetime. Some people ask me why I get people addicted to gems. 
it is impossible to get addicted to good things. For example, a good wife is not addicted to you. She will help you your whole life. Good sanctified food can only help you. You cannot live without sanctified food, but there is not addiction. And also you cannot get addicted to good climate. He doesn't want to live elsewhere, but that means that he created good conditions for life. The same way gems on your neck and fingers are better conditions of life. That is intelligence and that is mercy of your seniors. And moreover, all the money we receive from treatment go for spiritual purposes. So you before also sacrifice. You give money for good things and you get help. When people bring me money, I advise them to take neck beads. That is a bigger mercy. How can you find your number? You cannot do it yourself. Only a senior person can do it. But if you are sensitive, put two pieces of white paper on your hand. You feel bad, put four. It is bad, put six, then eight, if you have viral infection. And in an hour or two, you can see that it is best with four. This effect is sudden and strong. Just experiment, make tests. The only options are two, four, six, and eight. If you have two, then you also have three, but three is meant for victory. My number is five, but you cannot make bees with five, it will tense you. When you are in the mode of attack, you can have five, but for normal life, you need women's gentle energy. Neck bees are only worn during daytime. They stimulate you, even mono beads. You take them off for the night. At night you receive moon energy and you must be relaxed. We only leave gems on little and middle fingers. They are connected to sleep and they help against insomnia. When we put gems on your right hand, it gives you strength, it tones you, and on the left side it cools you down and relaxes. Right hand hits you up and gives you strength, it stimulates. It is individual. We pick what suits your body, we do not force anything. Nothing changes your whole life. These neck beads are for life unless you break them. Gems are very fragile and sensitive. You drop your neck beads once, one gem is broken and your beads work worse by 30 or 40 percent. If you lost gems, we will mail you repair kit, string, gems and everything needed you can restore your neck beads. When you come home, count your beads, write it down, and when you recount and there is less, write to us and we will mail you extra gems. It is easy. Please tell, what should we do with gems that we buy in shops or inherit? It is easy for women. If she feels bad with gems, you just put it on, you press on it. If your head is heavy, you should not wear it or you should put it on another finger. If you are fine, then wear it. 
But if you just wear it, you may be unaware that the gem makes you worse. If a woman likes a gem, most likely it suits her. But for outer cylinder, these gems are made for beauty. The beads that we make, they are calm, they are not so pretty. To make you pretty, it is outer effect, it affects skin, smile. A woman likes gems and she becomes influential, that is outer effect, but it can tense your psyche. But when a person does something internally, it is very calm. When a woman marries her real husband, husband, she is very calm with him. But people cannot get married calmly now because they want to enjoy relationships. They want real love, and so-called real love is just husk, it is on the outside. And so people forget that there is inner influence, that is purity, harmony and calmness. In order to get married like that, you should not expose your body. You only get external effect, and the inner effect comes from piety and chastity. Now please relax everyone. Let's move on. The next topic we're going to study, I'm going to tell you about all our methods that we use now. There are a few package deals. One package deal is gemstones. For those who do not have many chronic diseases, they can just get neck beads and restore their channels with Hatha Yoga, healthy life, fasting. Bark clears your channels and herbs, and gemstones, spices and oils, they give you strength. So, if you just need more strength for life, but you are healthy, you take this package deal, it includes gems, oils, spices and herbs that you use daily. This package deal is meant for active life, and the person who has chronic diseases takes another package deal. And also diet is included in all packages. The next package deal is bark, herbs and spices. And we recommend neck beads to everyone. It is important to everyone. You can get it extra, your neck beads. So, bark, herbs and spices and two oils, general effect and homeopathic effect, plus diet. This is bark package still. This treatment is long term. We are on the phone with our patients all the time. We make calls and then we can send you extra bark packs if the one you have is worn out. The bark works for 560 hours. We experimented and we know that. If you wear bark for 50 minutes a day, it is enough for two years. And there is always massage, there are three types, visceral massage, general massage and oil massage, it is prescribed individually. Remember, we now treat remotely. You can have bark, spices, herbs and diet remotely. In order for me to test a person, I do not to need to see him face to face. I test everyone by your picture. Send your picture with two branches on your wrists. They increase your energy, any trees branches, and I can test you quickly. I test 30 parameters of your subtle body to start working with you. One mistake, 
and there are mistakes in treatment. Recently, I haven't been making mistakes, but we notice them very quickly when you put your bark on, it is easy to see. During this festival, we made about a hundred beats, and only twice or thrice I was mistaken in the number. It is seen at once. It affects you wrongly, and we correct. So it is all very professional and serious. You should come to us for eight to ten days. We have vacancies. Do not think that we are full. You can come, but please do not recommend it to people who do not understand what I am doing. They come and go. It is hard for them. In general, treatment in goodness is very subtle. It is only for people who are prone for self-realization. If people are atheists, they cannot treat with these methods. That is why we do not advertise it widely. Starting from what age? From baby age. We do not put bark before one year, but we can make neck beads. As the child grows, we make neck beads longer. Every year you must make neck beads longer for your children as they grow. How much does treatment cost? You can find all the information on our website about package deals. And the discount for package deals is good. It all costs money. I can tell you that our health center hasn't brought any profit. We just get repayment, zero repayment. And it is almost impossible to have any profit. Fifty people work for us now, or even sixty, counting those who collects bark and works with herbs. This is a very costly work, it requires much strength and time. Five or six specialists work with one patient at once. So it's impossible. That is why the price is so high. That is prime cost. Some people say that we charge too much, but we earn nothing from the health center. And when you take our treatment, it is not for 10 days. Our treatment course lasts a year. Every time you will be on the phone with our specialist, you will be under control. We can send you something new, we can do some correction. So we're done with our treatment, now fasting. Write down it, be very attentive. Remember this, dry fasting is meant for spiritual practice. Dry fasting is meant to defeat your fate. Your karma is burnt when you pray during dry fasting. It is only meant for those who are healthy and also have spiritual strength. Dry fasting is meant for spiritually experienced people. It is not treatment, it is spiritual life. But dry fasting rejuvenates you if you do it right. It implies that you have no hunger during fasting. If you dry fast and you are hungry, you destroy your health. Not to experience hunger, you must think of God very intensively. When a person is involved in spiritual service, he dry fasts and he is very healthy and his karma is burnt. If a person is hungry and dissatisfied, his karma comes out and is accumulated in subtle and gross body. And then there is diseases exacerbation. Dry fasting is only recommended for spiritually strong people. The next type of fasting is water fasting. Please ask me all questions after I finish the topic, otherwise I cannot concentrate. Water fasting. When you fast like this, you must drink as soon as you want to. 
Столько, сколько хочется. And as much as you want to. Не больше. Не надо себя впихивать Do not force неправильно вообще никогда. Yourself do not drink too much. Never in your life. Drink when you want to, as much as you want to. Some people do not want to drink at all. That means you must drink from time to time, but do not drink too much. There are people who want to drink constantly because they, their body is heated. They must drink little by little. If you go to bathroom more than once during the night, that means that you drink too much. If you go twice or more, that means that you exhaust your body, you wear it off. Water fasting is meant for purification of your body. Water fasting improves your metabolism, it affects toxins and purifies subtle channels, that is rejuvenating fasting. Dry fasting also does it, but it is unreachable for most people, and water fasting is good. How do you do it? In the evening, you eat as little as you can, then you fast the whole day, and only the day after that you eat in the morning. If you are hot, you can drink during the night also. It is best to break your fast with light products that you can digest easily. Normally, these are products in the mode of goodness. These are bananas, avocado, coconut, apples, also spinach, Lettuce, light products in the mode of goodness, also dates, these are the lightest products that can be easily digested. What would you like to add? Sesame, you will not get filled with sesame, it is light, you can add some seeds to your other food. Buckwheat, it is heavier, milk is not light product, it is in the mode of goodness but hard to digest. You can break your fast with cucumbers, honey is light. You can have some dried apricots are good, uh, stewed cabbage is not light. Water and honey make it warm. Cold water and honey are incompatible, it will stop your digestion. It is better to eat honey and drink water do not uh, put honey into the water. About salt and lemon juice. Salt does not suit many people. There are different types of salt. Black salt, sea salt and ordinary salt they have different effect. You must know your salt. And lemon does not suit everyone, like it does not suit me. If I break my fast with lemon, I may be really bad. There are different sour products. For example, there is tamarind. It is sour. There is kefir, lemon. There is prune. Some berries, some sour berries, it is all different for everyone. Do not think that lemon is good for everyone. It is not necessary to break your first with 
sour and salty. Sweet taste is the most natural and harmonious. It has the softest effect. Sour continues your cleansing. There are three tastes that affect your intestines. The sweet taste calms your intestines down and decreases inflammation. The sour taste stimulates intestines and releases toxins. And pungent taste stimulates your intestines and activates absorption and gives inflammation. Sour taste is needed if you want to get toxins out of your body. And if you are fine, you may start with sweet taste. You can make water with lemon and sugar, it is fine. Milk is not light, it is hard to digest, you cannot drink it after fasting. It is very difficult for me to fast morally, really hard. If it is hard for you to fast morally, you must not do it. You must select fasting that is light for you. No more questions. When you start to ask questions, you become very anxious. I'm going to tell you all the basics and then you can experiment. If you break your fast incorrectly, you will feel bad, then you do it right. Just test it. Let's move on. The next fast is Water fasting is the easiest way to detoxify, to release excessive salt, to rejuvenate. It is easy fasting and it does not require much knowledge. And now, to water fasting we are going to add information about days. The person fasts on Sunday if he is not socially adjusted, he lacks responsibility, he is a bad husband, or a woman who cannot take men, she can also fast on Sundays. Sunday is the day of responsibility, inner force, day of vows, of victory over your character. Sunday fasts are meant to overcome your character and to move up in life. Sunday fasting treats your bones, blood, eyes, your blood pressure, Sunday fasting is connected to the sun, and the next one on Monday is connected to moon. Monday fasting is about sleep disorder, mental tension, bad memory, hormonal disorders. Calmness, improving your character. Monday fasting is meant to treat headaches, mental disorders, Depression. Tuesday fasting is Mars. It treats your digestive system, liver, stomach, intestines, pancreas. It makes your willpower better. It gives you more power to live power to win, to overcome difficulties in life.
Tuesday fasting also treats your muscle system, reproductive system in man, decreasing anger and violence towards other people or violence towards you. It is all Tuesday fasting. Wednesday fasting is connected to Mercury. It is meant to improve your speech, harmony with environment, improving your hormonal functions. It treats your viscera like arrhythmia, dysfunction of bile ducts. It treats hormonal secretion like thyroid, pancreas, adrenal gland. Wednesday fasting is meant to improve your logic and thinking. It helps release stress from business and accounting, management, it improves your relationships. Thursday fasting is connected to Jupiter. It is meant to stabilize your spiritual life, improve your faith, make your immunity better. It treats mental diseases. It helps become more optimistic and get rid of depression. It is meant to treat your liver it treats your immune system it treats fat tissue It helps strengthen your faith, your relationships with the spiritual master and your seniors and mentors. It gives you good luck in life. Friday fasting, Venus, it improves your health in general, it gives you happiness in life, it treats your skin and kidneys, it treats infertility in women, it can also help you lose weight. It makes you kind, gentle, it improves your character like that. It also treats your thyroid. It makes women more womanly and men more calm. Saturday fasting is connected to Saturn. On Saturday fasting is meant to overcome unsurmountable difficulties 
avoiding jail and everything connected to very hard life like famine, poverty, incurable diseases, treating your nervous system, mental diseases, treating your spine and joints, your intestines, overcoming any difficulties in life, becoming patient, There are also fasts at religious holidays. They are meant to improve your faith and to get connected with God. There are fasts on the 11th day of waxing and waning moon. In total there are 14 days, so that is at the end of the lunar phase. So closer to a full moon and closer to a new moon, there is the 11th day of lunar phase. Eka means one, Dashi means ten, Ekadashi, eleven. This fast on the 11th day is unique. The atmosphere is different. All scenes uh, get on the surface. This day is also called Day of Hari. Hari is the name of God that means faith, connection to God. This is the Day of Faith. On these days all sins come out and they enter your mind and also all fruit products connected to mental activity and grains and beans are connected to your mind more closely. And these products, grains and beans, are sinful on this day. You eat sins with this food. Therefore, on this day, people either dry fast or select some other fasting, but they never eat grains or beans or especially meat. Meat is not included in fasting because normal people do not consider meat food. It is just a way to satisfy your feelings. It's a concession. Meat gives you neither health or happiness. Modern scientists also realized it, that meat is not healthy food. And all modern nutritionists advise to eat less food. But general practitioners who sit in small clinics and say things from 50 years ago when they studied in medical universities, they say, eat more meat. They still do. They torture people. They bring harm. I do not mean to say that all general practitioners are dumb, otherwise that would mean that I'm dumb. It's hard to consider yourself dumb. But there are people who do not study modern research, modern nutrition. When I wrote doctorate thesis, I studied this matter carefully. There are research that show that milk before sleep is very helpful an hour or two before going to bed. If your digestion is strong, you can drink it right before sleep. But some people cannot digest it at once, like I can. Milk contains a hormone called melatonin. It calms your psyche down, it improves your thinking, releases stress and harmonizes your body functions. So scientists think that milk is helpful. I think there is a, a deeper knowledge. 
So, let's move on about fasting. Ekadashi fasting is meant to purify your consciousness, to overcome difficulties for spiritual practice and to strengthen your faith. This is the day of God, the 11th day of waxing and waning moon in the Vedic culture. But any religious holiday is the day of God. If you believe in it, if you have connection to Serafim Sarovsky, his birthday is your day to fast. Fasting is the best offering to a saintly person. When you do it, it is the best austerity. If it is Easter, Jesus resurrected, that is your day, if you believe in Jesus Christ. When Prophet Muhammad was born, it is your day to fast if you believe in him. The next type of fasting is fasting on sour berries, like cranberries, foxberry, red currant, and so on. Cherries, fasting on sour berries is meant to purify your body from toxins and to solve problems of carbohydrates, metabolism in your body, like excessive weight, Well, different metabolic disorders in general. And it also cleanses your body. You can fast on berries in summer because they cool your body and in winter you may get sick because of it. You fast on berries, you suntan and you bathe in the sea. Berries fasting is meant for seaside vacation and it also treats you. We kill two vegetarian birds with one stone. Raspberry is also sour, but it has different purpose. Fasting on sweet berries like raspberries, and gooseberries, strawberries, sweet cherry can be a little too sour. Also blueberries, black currant, watermelon is not a berry, it's a watermelon. It's a berry, but for this purpose it is not a berry. Just like your wife, it is not a woman, it is your wife. Prune is sweet and plum is sour. Sweet berries also are figs, dates, apricots, peaches. These are fruits. No, no, no. Cancel the last section. Fig is a fruit, prune is a fruit, berries do not grow on trees, remember that. The only exception is cherries, strawberries grow on trees, yes, there is a strawberry tree, you can see it in Sochi, I don't know what grows in it, what kind of strawberries, but there is one tree. Dates are, are fruits. Fruits grow on trees. Well, okay. Sweet berries fasting is meant to overcome depression, improve your character, 
improve hormonal functions. It is meant to overcome difficult psychical situations in your life. Sweet berries fasting makes women more attractive and men more positive. Sour berries fasting brings your energy down. You go to the low better, you sweat more, the energy goes down. Sweet berries fasting makes your energy go up. You have more spiritual power, more optimism, your character is better, you become more active and joyful. Women get pink cheeks, they have faith and happiness and joy. If a woman is pretty when she has pink cheeks, a man is pretty when he is joyful. Women must look pretty and men and the smile is not going to leave my face and good moon is not going to leave us this is man's energy, good mood how much berries? very easy as much as you want and water, you drink as much as you want. You can drink when fasting on berries, but you should not eat anything else. Otherwise, there is going to be a revolution in your bowels with thunder. You can even skyrocket because of it with a turbo boost. You can only eat one kind of berries. Do not mix them. You can make drinks with berries. You can put them into blender, add some water and then drink. When you eat berries, you get more strength. When you drink this smoothie, you can have more berries. It has effect on your metabolism. See, buckthorn is a sweet berry. When fasting, you can eat berries all the time, chew berries all the time, just eat and eat. You can eat continuously. One day, all fasts last one day. You start in the morning and finish in the evening. You can fast two times a week till you are tired, but it's better be not water fasting, but fasting on some mono product. You can switch days or you can fast on a certain day. It's not like your wife, it is easier with fasts. You can change days. Did you like the play yesterday? Yes. That was a new genre. I order this play. We're going to work on it more. And it is already scheduled in Moscow. I will give two and a half hour lecture and finish with this play. This is new because no one else makes plays in this genre. This is a lecture as a play. It, it is a staged lecture. Let us move on. Fruit fasting is meant to
make your psyche stronger. It is like sweet berries, but if berries always affect your metabolism, fruits have more effect on your psyche and not body. Fruits make your energy move up strongly because trees are stronger and they make you very joyful. They give you ability to work well, to overcome difficulties. They make you happy, you defeat depression. Berries treat your body more and fruits have more effect on your mind. If you want to overcome difficulties, if you want to be more joyful, you must fast on fruits. Then again, you pick just one fruit, the one you like. If you like something, then it is connected to your mind, not your body. Sometimes a person likes something, but his body suffers. That means a person needs this product for his mind. But when talking of fruits, they are the most goodness products. So when you like something and your health come together, if you fast on this fruit. Fruit fasting is meant to make your character better. If you want to improve yourself, then fast on fruits. Next. Fasting on one vegetable. Vegetables are divided into three categories. First are the ones that grow above the ground. Fasting on these vegetables like marrow, custard marrow, Pumpkin, cabbage, is meant to treat your nervous system, cool your body. If a person is very hot, he can cool himself with vegetables that grow above the ground. This fasting treats protein metabolism, treats neuritis and all diseases connected to your nervous system. It calms your psyche, your mind down. You become calm when you fast on vegetables. It improves your digestion in general. This fasting cleanses your digestion system of toxins and restores the whole system. This fasting restores your life force, especially after some trip to southern countries. If you feel weak after coming back, you can fast on vegetables that grow above the ground. Yes, cucumbers. Cucumbers are the ones. Remember this. Nightshades are not meant for fasting. This food is for sense gratification, and they do not make you healthy. The nightshades are tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, and sweet pepper. These four products activate your senses and make your mood better. They give you a good mood, but they do not treat you. You cannot fast on them. It makes your senses active. It is good for actors to eat tomatoes and eggplants to, to bring their senses out, to catch attention of the crowd. These products are needed. It is also too good to include these products in lunches at festivals. <laughs> we feed you potatoes. It is good because people are good around. Look how many good people around. Potato is also good, but 
We thought everything through. Even when you come to us to chastise us, we even thought that through. We know how to answer to you. We study it all seriously. Vedic culture is very deep. Sometimes we answer in a way to make you think and sometimes to make you happy. Yes? We are speaking of raw products fasting, because when you eat boiled food, that is not fasting, that is just eating. You can fast on our lunches also then. Let's move on. Vegetables fasting on edible roots. These are beetroot, carrot, radish. Be careful with radish and black radish. Let us limit the list to carrot and beetroot. What else harmless grows underground? We do not pass on potatoes or Jewish artichoke. No, that is it. Celery, no. No, no. Only carrot and beetroot. No more edible roots. Roots are dangerous. If you only eat parsnip, you can get in trouble by the end of the day. Only beetroot and carrot. These roots are meant to activate your hormonal functions and to treat infertility. When you eat edible roots, your energy goes down and your lower psyche centers are activated. This fasting treats your kidneys, your genital system, intestine, the energy goes down and the fire is kindled in the lower center. There is healing power there. When fasting, you can mix carrot and beetroot. Make a nice proportion and you can drink juices. If you eat cellulose, it affects your intestine more and juices go into your blood. Only raw. Day and night, whole year round. You can leave juice for a while. It will become weaker. If your body is strong, you can drink juices at once. Very fresh. There is more prana in them. No sugar, no salt. You can put a bit sugar. If you make many additives, that is not fasting. The effect will be lost. Pure product gives more effect. You can dilute them with water. Let's move on. Vegetable fasting also reduces fat. Edible roots affect your metabolism and treat your fat tissue. You can lose weight with them. You are also cleansed in the terms of fat. Also, it treats your joints, excessive weight, joints. By the way, spine and joints are also treated by fasting on vegetables living above the ground. It has anti-inflammatory effect. And edible roots are good if you have salt deposits in your joints and excessive weight. 
The ones that are in the mode of goodness have soft effect, but in general edible roots are quite rough, so you must be careful when fasting. You may get overloaded. If so, take more water and let your juices rest for a while before drinking. Juices are softer than chewing carrot and beetroot. The next kind of fasting it's green fasting. Green is spinach, lettuce, some greens are quite hard on your body, and some are light, and the lightest greens are lettuce, nepa cabbage, spinach, and all the rest like parsley, dill, and celery are harder. Mixing, try it. You can mix different leaves, greens, how you like it. By the way, fasting on vegetables about the ground, I did not name cucumbers, they are special. Cucumber fasting cools your body really well, cures allergies and excessive fire in your body. That is important. Those who have a lot of fire and allergies can eat cucumbers. All the rest, greens, leaves, you can add them, but do not eat only them. It will overload you. Green fasting improves your metabolism in general. It restores rhythm of your body. It restores rhythm of intestine, heart, pancreas, gallbladder. It all can be cured with fasting on green leaves. It also makes your memory and speech better. It improves your mental processes. In general, it restores metabolism, makes your digestion better, releases toxins from your body. And on cellular level, it heals your cells. The next kind of fasting is fasting on melon or watermelon. It treats your water metabolism your nervous system, kidneys, it purifies your body, it washes out excessive salts from your body and cools your body down. Fasting on either melon or watermelon is also good at the sea when you have a lot of sun. When you bathe, you sunbathe and you eat either melon or watermelon. If you eat both, something bad may happen and you will have to put your bowel back into place. What? Watermelon in the morning, melon in the evening, don't. Do not experiment. It may be fine. And melon in the evening is always great. Eat melon in the evening and then left, 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 right, left. And you're going to walk and walk. And the wind in my bowels is nothing. So, melon and watermelon, 
are good before 6 p.m. if you want to have your sleep. Fifteen minutes left, and then we are going to wish everyone happiness. I want to make you happy. There are going to be two lectures of mine when I am only going to answer to your questions. Any questions but diseases. Vyacheslav Nazarov individually answers to your questions about diseases. I'm going to speak about family life, daily routine, some more general questions. I'm going to answer it all. Tomorrow we will continue in the morning about treating methods. I'm going to tell about treatment methods, diseases and everything. Is it okay with you? Good. How do you think? What is the most precious thing left with you after this festival? Gemstones. Gemstones are the most expensive thing left with you. I'm speaking about spiritual matters. Inspiration will go down. The taste of happiness will be forgotten. Knowledge will be forgotten. The CD will become dusty. Not association itself, but your desire for association. It is the most valuable thing in your fate. If you take with you desire to associate with spiritually developed people, to make friends like that, to go where spiritual topics are discussed, then what you received at this festival will not be lost. But if you don't, if you go into your work and family life, you will be ignorant and that means that you received nothing precious in this festival and you are going to lose it all and a year later you are going to be the way you were before we are going to come again well ok, you can do that also you can only live from enemas but you must make your intestine work on its own So, please think about it. A person who can pray in the morning loses this ability in time unless he associates with the seniors. A person with clean consciousness, with force and lectures in his pocket of many, many people, with faith, it can all be lost if he does not associate on these topics. All will be destroyed completely. I know many people who had spiritual practice, but they lost their contact with the seniors, and when a difficult period came, it was all destroyed. There are people who gave lectures here, and they lost it all, because they only associated with the minors. Association with peers and seniors is crucial. Association sustains your ability to develop and to grow. Today we are going to have a special meditation. We will wish everyone happiness, bow down to the holiness, and think of people who sit around, wishing them well. I want to serve you, I want to serve you, I want to serve you. This is your meditation. Serving is not easy, you need always strength for that. In general, you have more strength to serve than I do. When you see me, you always are happy to see me, you bow down to me. 
I'm not always strong enough to smile back at you. But I will come back home, I will restore my strength. You now accumulate your strength. That is why you smile and you are happy and we give our strength to you. Yesterday, Valodya slips off after the concert. He sat down. Are you okay? I'm okay. Always okay. But everyone is tired. We give our strength to you. And you get filled more and more. You accumulate strength to give it again. Do not clap. Do not f think that you get all the strength and you leave. You are going to give your strength. Otherwise you will get proud. If you come back home and you do not serve, then all the piety that you got here will be turned into pride. And you will think badly of your relatives that they are worse than you are. I am clean and they are so falling. I am so cool and they are not. That means pride. If a person really receives something good, he makes all his relationships better. He is more serving, forgiving. He does not get proud. He does not get this uh, bias exterior. If you go home and you serve, you will lose nothing and no one. After the festival, there may be two effects. First, your relationships get better. Second, worse. The mode of goodness can work in two ways. If you are proud, how can I go on living with this fool? That means pride. There will be destruction after the festival. But if you are humble and you think that you are the main problem in your fate, then you make all your relatives happy. You understood that? Now we are going to increase energy of service in our life. Sit straight. Rade is energy of service. Rade. It means the energy of service. Radana in Sanskrit is service. If a person lives for himself, he cannot be spiritual. God loves his spouse most of all. We saw it in the play yesterday. I wish everyone happiness. I wish everyone happiness. Yeah, sure, 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 sure
I wish all of you happiness, love, spiritual knowledge, and all the brightest there is in life. Thank you for being with us all the time, for your welcoming eyes and smiles. Всего доброго.